Hey, Nicole Huntsman, your astrologer from ModernCosmic.com. Okay, we are going to talk about Sun Pluto inner, and inner aspects on this video. Uh, and as I am want to do, we're going to start out kind of describing how each of these planets play out in the birth chart. So the Sun, of course, the Sun person, you are the one that is holding space as this. This inner aspect is going to affect your identity. It's going to affect sort of the way you see yourself. Um, and you are going to be the one that's shining your light on the Pluto person's Plutonian qualities and their personality, okay? So Pluto, you're the one who is going to be dealing with issues of, you're going to Plutonize, I'm stealing yet again, Stephen Forrest's uh, way of sort of using the um, using the planets as kind of verbs, I guess. Um, is that the right word? Yeah, yeah, verb. Yeah, whatever. I'm not a grammar expert. And grammar Nazis, you can tell me what the right word is. But you're going to take your Pluto and you are going to cause that sun person to, you're going to bring out the Pluto in them, so to speak. Okay. So what does this look like? Okay. Um, the sun solarizes something. That means it activates and it turns something on. It's like a light switch. Pluto. First of all, we need to talk about Pluto, like I've talked about with the other outer planets. So, you know, Uranus and Neptune, just like these two guys. Pluto is very, very, very far away. It's the outer at this point. It's not even a planet anymore. Technically, if you're an astronomer, they don't consider it a planet anymore. But as astrologers, we still call it a planet. Okay, we know it's a planetoid. We know it's been demoted. Um, and the, the irony there, of course, is that Pluto is, in astrology, one of the most um, sort of powerful planets. It holds space as this symbol um, it, that in the personality, it shows us and in relationships. It shows us where there are intense emotions, intense transformation, death and rebirth. Um, this is like the outer edge of the solar system at this point that we're aware of. Um, so with Pluto, remember the myth of Pluto too. This is the god of the underworld. This is, uh, you know, Pluto, he's the one that took Persephone, kidnapped her, took her down to the underworld. There's this element of violation of boundaries, uh, possessiveness, um, complete and total transformation. So the death and the complete death and annihilation of one thing and the birth of something new. Like I had my house burned down when I had Pluto making aspects to the ruler of my uh, second house along with Uranus during that lovely Pluto Uranus, you know, the Pluto Uranus square that we've had. So, um, for you, what this is going to look like in your relationship, if you're the sun person, that Pluto person is going to make you feel some strong emotions. There can be these emotions of uh, intense um, obsession, compulsion, um, or fear even. <laughs> depending on the sun person, depending on your chart, if you're someone who's used to how Pluto kind of feels because of your birth chart, if you were born at a time when Pluto like opposed your sun or was squaring it and you know making some hard angles to your sun or conjunct your sun, if you're someone who has sun or moon you know, located in the eighth houses, let's say, let's say or you're Scorpio. So if you're someone who has some strong Plutonian eighth house Scorpio stuff, a Pluto relationship, some, someone who makes aspects to your sun with their Pluto is going to feel kind of natural to you. In fact, it's probably, if you look at the history of relationships, it's very likely that you've been attracted to these types of relationships because it feel, just feels kind of natural to you. If you're someone who, let's throw Saturn in there. Let's say you have strong Pluto in your chart, but you also have Saturn thrown in the mix. That is going to really bring out the need. You're going to feel this sense of losing control um, with this person who is, if they're strong Pluto and their chart is making aspects to your sun, you're going to feel like you need to control things and rein them in because you're going to feel these strong emotions come out of you and then you're not going to like the way that feels because it feels out of control. So you're going to want to kind of consolidate those things and put up boundaries and put up walls and pull things back, okay, and have some control over the relationship. Now, if you're the Pluto person, um, and the sun activates, it lights up your Pluto, it kind of does the same thing, okay? It's just you perhaps may feel the obsession for uh, the sun person, you know, their um, way of being, you are going to find their, them as an individual, you're going to sort of, you very possibly have a bit of an obsession for them. Um, and, and this desire to uh, control them, violate their boundaries, you know, like know what they're doing, stalk them, all of these things can happen with, with um, the Pluto, with the Pluto sun aspects. Uh, so it can be, depending on the way you're built, it can be something you like. I like Pluto, Pluto in your relationships. I have my son in the eighth house. So, and I have my son conjunct, not my son, my moon in the eighth house and my son conjunct Pluto. So Plutonian relationships for me feel very like, was there any other way to do it? You know, isn't that the way it's supposed to be a little bit, uh, obsessive or like intense or, um, you know, Etc. Etc. I feel like if I don't feel jealous, then I don't, if I don't feel jealous, then I'm not really in love with you. <laughs> it's kind of that. That's kind of Pluto, you know. Um, so 
Let me know what you think about Pluto Sun. I'm sure I'm missing things, but I have to get off this because I've got to get on a call right now. So uh, at any rate, Pluto Sun, it's intense, it's powerful, it can feel faded, it can feel destined, um, and it's definitely one that after the relationship, if it's one you go into romantically, you kind of will never be the same after you leave that relationship. Okay. All right. Have a great one. Thanks for watching. Okay. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.